In the next part of this video, I'll summarize each of these different proteins. Receptors are proteins that are exposed to the outer cell surface. Chemical signals like the hormone insulin bind to specific receptors on the cell's surface. This binding triggers a response inside of the cell. Receptors are usually specific for just one particular chemical signal. For example, the hormone insulin is a chemical signal that only binds to the insulin receptor. Enzymes are proteins that increase the rate of chemical reactions on either the outer or inner surface of the plasma membrane. For example, enzymes in cells lining the small intestine increase the rate of breakdown of carbohydrates and proteins so that they can be easily absorbed. Transport proteins are proteins that extend from one surface of the plasma membrane to the other. Their function is to move ions, like potassium and sodium, into and out of the cell. Some transport proteins are always open. However, others are shut and only open in certain circumstances, like for example, when an electric current passes across the plasma membrane. Carrier proteins bind to molecules like glucose and amino acids and transport or carry them from one side of the plasma membrane to the other side. Carrier proteins often change shape as their transporting material, but return to their original shape when the material has passed through the plasma membrane. Attachment proteins allow cells to attach to one another, or to extracellular molecules outside of the cell, or to intracellular proteins inside of the cell. The proteins that attach cells to each other are called cadherins. The proteins that attach cells to extracellular molecules are called integrins, and they usually exist in pairs in the plasma membrane. Motor molecules are proteins that produce movement in a cell. These proteins are found in cells that crawl around body tissues, like for example defense cells that move about the body looking for foreign particles to destroy. Cell movement occurs when filamentous molecules in the cytoplasm, like actin and myosin, pull on the motor molecules in the plasma membrane. And finally, let's discuss marker molecules. Marker molecules are proteins with carbohydrates or sugars attached to their surface. If we think back to fences, think of marker molecules as very fancy and ornate gates. Marker molecules are sometimes called cell identity markers because they're special proteins on the cell's surface that allow cells to identify one another. Think of these marker molecules as identification tags on a cell. Examples of cell recognition via marker molecules include sperm cells recognising an egg and defence cells in our body recognising foreign material such as bacteria. Earlier I briefly mentioned how plasma membrane proteins help molecules move into and out of cells. Well, now it's time we explore this concept further. Transport of substances across the plasma membrane is either passive or active. In passive transport, substances move across the cell via their own kinetic energy, which means that no energy input is required from the cell. In passive transport, substances move down their concentration gradient. For example, from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. This is called diffusion. Oxygen and carbon dioxide are examples of substances that move via passive transport. In active transport, the cell has to use its own energy to move material across the plasma membrane. Without the cell's energy, a substance wouldn't be able to enter or exit a cell. 
Active transport is used when substances are moving in a direction against their concentration gradient. For example, from an area of low concentration to an area of high concentration. Carrier proteins, which I talked about earlier, move substances like ions and glucose into and out of cells via the active transport process. To summarise, even though every plasma membrane, like every fence around the house, varies dramatically in appearance, all plasma membranes have the same three basic properties. They are all made of a phospholipid bilayer with proteins. They all surround a cell and they all regulate the movement of material into and out of a cell. Spend some time now completing the knowledge test on the plasma membrane.